celebrate Yom Hazikaron, I asked different people who were in the army or are currently in the army what Yom Hazikaron means to them. Check it out. What Yom Hazikaron means to me. Yom Hazikaron for me is a day to both mourn for and celebrate the men and women who gave their lives fighting for true peace and true freedom in Israel. It's a time when I remember my fallen brothers, the ones that fell, who I served with, the ones that fell that guarded in the guard post that I guarded after me and before me. The other lone soldiers inspires me and motivates me to be the best person that I can be. If they were here today, how would they live their life? How I'm reminded every Yom HaZikaron how I should live my life. Yom HaZikaron is a really special day for me for two reasons. One, it's a day for me and the rest of Kalah Yisrael to come together to give thanks to the people who are most nefesh, who gave up their lives in order that we can live in our homeland today. To me, Yom HaZikaron is not just a day of sadness and remembrance, it's also a day of thankfulness. Secondly, it's a special day because I really think you get to feel the Achdos in Am Yisrael and Klal Yisrael and Medina Yisrael. No matter where you're from, no matter what your background is, you come together to give thanks. It's a time for us to be thankful for all those who gave the ultimate sacrifice and allow us to enjoy the lives that we have and the moments that we have with our friends and family. Those soldiers, many of those people, you know, left this world on a, on a note of, we're not in control as an army, as a nation. And over the years, we've been able to establish a stronger army, a stronger nation. I don't ever want to be able to feel like they went for us to dishonor what they were in this world for. And part of my duty in the army, currently in the West Bank, is to is to continue what they started. Shalom, this is Rudy Rockman. Yom Hazikon to me is not only the day to remember those who have fallen, because everyone in Israel knows someone who was killed or died due to a conflict, but to remember the lives that they've given for us to live free, for us to be home, and to make sure that this doesn't happen again and to use that energy to make sure there's no more conflict anymore in order for there to be no more names added to the list. And so Yom HaZikon should not only remind us of their lives, but remind us of the commitment and the sacrifice that they made so that we can be here and create something new, better for the future. That is what they had to say. This is another day and there is another daf. I gotta say, I did learn the daf, but it's not riveting. And also everything pretty much now going on is about Arayos. And you're not actually supposed to teach that in public or in a public forum. So instead, I put more time on the first half of the video, less time in the second. Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow.